um, Christine McIntyre mm. and this is my husband Danny. Um, we're from Driving Miss Daisy Rainclyde, which is situated just west of Glasgow up in Scotland, um, covering the areas of Renfrewshire and Inverclyde. Do you find me? You have a son, don't you? Yeah, we have a son that's currently studying in um, Edinburgh doing economics. Um, so really, for the first time in almost 21 years, we have a huge big empty nest that really needed filling. Um, and I would suggest, I'm sure you would agree with me, that going into a new venture together seemed to be the ideal um, solution to that. Can you tell me um, just a little bit about your background to give people an idea of where you've come from and how you've ended up at this point, really? Well, we actually we owned a recruitment agency, a quite successful agency, which we've been, we had for 25 years. Um, I'm very much involved in, in the, the growth of that business. Uh, and the opportunity came for us to, to sell and move on and uh, just uh, stop and take stock of where we, what we'd achieved in life. The opportunity uh, with driving Miss Daisy came up and it was just an absolute perfect fit because ha for myself, having worked in, in the business uh, for so long, um, I was looking forward to the challenge of doing something new. Also, um, with Christine's background, uh, it was it was a perfect fit. That's so it. my background, um, Actually, 34 years ago today, I started my student nurse training in Glasgow as a psychiatric nurse. Um, really was there for about 15 years and then moved on to a new challenge of working within the voluntary sector, looking after people with dementia and their carers. Um, stayed there for almost nine years and then moved into the business with Danny, doing care recruitment. We bought over a care agency. Unfortunately, both of my parents developed um, dementia so I took a sabbatical from the business to look after them. We, we really needed to have a new challenge um, and really a challenge that combined both of our strengths and both of our backgrounds so um, we really felt that Driving Miss Daisy kind of straddled both camps between the business side um, and the assistance side. So can you tell me something about the franchise that you have bought? Uh, yes well we um uh, I found Driving Miss Daisy when I was looking for business opportunities just as I, I would have done on my normal business day uh, and I found the brand Driving Miss Daisy and right away as soon as I had found even the logo um, I actually sent a link to, to Christine saying this is you um, and as I looked into it um, I realised that there, there really was something there that that struck a chord with me and I thought it was something that, that we could have used uh, as a service uh, when Christine's mum and dad were alive. Looking at the brand, I thought this really works and it would be a real joy to work with something like this. I recognise that there actually was um, a lack of um, facilities such as the a service that Driving Miss Daisy offers in the local community. For example, we stay in a very isolated community that does have a robust elderly population and it has become apparent over the years that we've been staying there that there is very, very little service um, that bridges the gap between transportation and care. So Danny, what made you decide to go down the franchise route? Well, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, we actually decided to look at new, new opportunities after having built a business from scratch over the 25 year period. Um, we decided that when we looked at Driving Miss Daisy, the franchise idea was that it was a business in a box for us, that any issues we were going to have, we could go back to head office and find the answers there and find the support to help us develop the business. Um, I also liked it because it's a fairly new concept, it is a new concept in, in Scotland certainly, and as I researched it and looked at the amount of franchises there is in England, obviously having come over from New Zealand too, um, that's very, very successful and there was a huge opportunity for, for us to grow that. Uh, and be part of that journey. Christine, can I ask how you raised the finance for uh, buying the Driving Miss Daisy franchise? Yeah, well, having um, sold our business um, within the west of Scotland, we were in a very fortunate position that we were able to self-finance that. However, we had actually looked um, at financing it through different options, for example, through the banks or um, you know, really taking a loan out on it. but we decided to, to self-finance that. How do you feel about the fact, uh, Danny, that 
it's not just about buying the franchise that you have to consider when when setting up a, um, a driving Miss Daisy franchise or any franchise come to that. Uh, well, I, th I think it's important to, to realise that it's not about making the initial investment, it's about investing your time and your effort. Um, you do have to be aware that it, it won't uh, make lots of money in the, in the immediate term, you have to be prepared to support that business. But I think it's important that as you look at your opportunity, uh, that you have to be prepared to work very, very hard in the short term to make sure that it starts to fly for you and to give you the opportunity in the long term. But you have to be aware that it will be a journey in the, in the short term. So can I just ask you both, um, what is the most sort of uh, invaluable piece of advice you can give someone looking to start their first franchise? Well, I would say um, absolutely research it to death, yep. go and visit other franchises, find out what's working for them, and also kind of absorb some of that enthusiasm that they have for the brand. Um, and really just do your research, speak to people, see what's working for them. Danny? Yeah, I think it's important that uh, there are also many franchise opportunities out there, but you have to find something that you have a bit of passion for. Uh, and for me, driving Miss Daisy, everybody I spoke to, were, everyone had, had a story to tell and the, the passion that came across from both the, the franchisors and the other franchisees that we spoke to, um, the, the, the feeling we got from work, the idea of working together then was just better than anything else we looked at. Yep. And it's a great opportunity.